Moving on to reproductive word roots. So the reproductive system, we're dealing with the male reproductive system and female reproductive system, of course. So a lot of these parts can correspond to structures we find in those systems. Okay, so we'll start with cervico. Now, cervico, you can also use <laughs> regarding these vertebrae, right? These specific vertebrae, and maybe that could be a hint with these, right? Cervico, this is the cervical region, the region of the neck, right? The, so the neck, in the female reproductive system, the cervix is, is the neck, okay? So, so there's the vagina, the passageway, um, and then the, then the cervix, and then the uterus. Okay, so the cervix is kind of the, think of the uterus as the head, the cervix as the neck, the vagina as the body. Um, easy way to kind of kind of picture everything there. Um, so cervic, cervico means neck, just like the cervix. Okay, moving on, gyneco, like gynecology, gynecologist. These are doctors, specialists who, who specialize in women and the female reproductive system. Okay, so gyneco means uh, woman. Hystero, moving on, hystero, like a hysterectomy. A hysterectomy is a surgical removal, or ectomy, surgical removal of the primary female reproductive organ. Hystero means uterus. So um, hysterectomy, surgical removal of the uterus. Sometimes it can be just the uterus and fallopian tubes and, and that stuff. Sometimes it's, it's a lot more than that. Um, radical hysterectomy, a lot being removed with a radical hysterectomy. Uh, moving on, lacto, um, lactose. There's a, there's a hormone made by the pituitary gland called prolactin. What does prolactin produce? What do you think? Prolactin stimulates the production of milk. Um, so it produces the pituitary produces prolactin and that tells the mammary glands to produce milk. Okay. Uh, lactose. Uh, milk, milk sugar, basically. Um, mammo, moving on. Mammo, like mammogram. A mammogram is a medical test we'll talk about later, a little bit later. Um, two glass plates pressed down against a breast, right? And it flattens all the tissue. And then an x-ray is performed so that we can kind of see all of the structures inside the the breast to see if there's any any abnormal growths or anything going on there um, that we need to be concerned about. Okay, moving on, masto, like a mastectomy or even mastoid process. The thing back here, right behind the ear, the mastoid process. Oid means resembling. So what does it look like? What does the mastoid process look like? What is a mastectomy? Now, somebody might have a mammogram and the results of that mammogram might lead to somebody having a mastectomy. Mast, masto also means breast. Okay, so masto means breast, mastectomy, surgical removal of breast tissue. The mastoid process looks like a breast. I mean, kind of, I guess. Um, Maybe maybe a little bit of the same shape, kind of, I guess. I don't know. Um, I didn't name the stuff. Anyway, moving on. Minnow, like menopause. What what does what does minnow mean? Menopause is where the body stops doing what? What what does the body stop doing in a person who has gone through menopause? I'm not really sure why it's called menopause and not menaces because you essentially stop menstruating, right? Meno means menstruation. Menopause, stop 
menstruation just kind of all together. Um, not even, you know, every couple months or every three months, just no more. Um, something that happens. So, uh, moving on. Oh, oh. Oh, slash, oh. I couldn't come up with, a, with an easier name. Oh, oh, sight is a prime example where you're going to see this one. Um, what is an OO site? An OO site is produced by an ovary and released from an ovary once a month. An OO site is an egg. It's an egg cell, right? So OO means egg. Okay, moving on. OO four O. Hmm. OO four O. I see. So I see that OO. It tells me it has something to do with the eggs. This is what produces the eggs, right? This also, this organ, uh, our example, OO4 is something you can have surgically removed. Cue the picture right here. You'll, you'll, see, you'll see a removal of one of these. Um, so the, this produces eggs and estrogen and progesterone. OO4 ectomy, surgical removal of this. It is an ovary, right? So this this picture that's actually my wife's ovary. She had a PCOS, and they, you know, when when we were doing a C section for our second kid, they're like, "Yeah, this ovary is kind of enormous. Should be about that big, maybe the size of an almond." It was about that big. <laughs> anyway, so you, nice, nice, uh, nice photo there of my wife's ovary. Uh, the nurses were very weirded out when I asked to take a picture of it. Like, no, it's for educational purposes, I, I promise. I'm not sure they believe me, but anyway. oo 4 ovary. Uh, oo 4 ectomy, surgical removal of an ovary. Uh, then we have salpingo. Uh, salpingitis, inflammation of this. Salpingectomy, surgical removal of this, which, it, which can be performed with a hysterectomy as well. It's what connects the ovary, the ovaries on each side to the uterus. What the egg cell passes through on its way to the uterus. Uh, salpingo means fallopian tube. Okay, so salpingitis, inflammation of a fallopian tube. Salpingectomy, surgical removal of a fallopian tube. Okay, so I think that about does it for reproductive word roots.